This is a practice called social mindcraft. Social mindcraft. <laughs> and um, social mindcraft is a practice uh, that is inspired by some instructions that my teacher and friend Kenneth Folk shared on Twitter a couple years ago. And uh, I'm going to read that to you now so you can get a sense for uh, what he had in mind. So he said, uh, let's play a game. Let's call it Minecraft. It's a building game. You're the builder. It's a world building game. You're building a world. Start with a blank slate. You can build any kind of world you want. The rules are simple. To add something to your world, say, I will allow and then insert whatever you'd like to add. If, for example, you'd like to add happiness to the world you're building, say, I will allow happiness. If you want to add sound, say, I will allow sound. To add seeing, just say, I will allow seeing, or I will allow sensation, or I will allow curiosity, or I will allow tension. It's your world. Build it as you will. May you enjoy the game. So Minecraft is obviously a play on Minecraft, the popular world building game. And um, this is a game I actually play with my son, Xander. Um, it's, a, it's a very fun game because you get to kind of build things from the ground up using very simple modules like dirt, blocks, and wood, and water, and you can combine those things into new forms, new elements. Um, so it, it, it allows for a lot of complexity and a lot of um, play. And the idea here is really to kind of build on that, that idea of a world building game, uh, except instead of actually, you know, building up some kind of virtual world, we're here building up a world of experience. So my additional instructions, uh, adding on top of what Kenneth shared originally, uh, is that Social Minecraft is a multiplayer world-building game. It invites us to take a God's eye view together. And what I mean by that is um, this practice in my experience, it invites us to ask the question of what is it that we want to add to the world and since we're doing it socially, it's not just what do I want to add to my world, but rather what do I want to add to this world as a multiplayer world building game. So it brings up all the questions that social practices do naturally bring up. What should I share? What's too much? What's too little? Is this okay? Uh, and then this is inviting us into, again, a God's eye view, like collaborative God's eye view. We're, we're deciding to co-build this world together. So those are the basic instructions. Um, in terms of how this will work practically, we'll um, break out into small groups of uh, three or four people each, and we'll have 20 minutes to do the practice. And here we'll just be taking turns saying, I will allow. And then you have, I'd say one to three words is, is the suggestion here. One, two, or three words. And they can be any words you like, freestyle. Uh, and then just share when it's your turn wh what you'd like to allow. I will allow relaxation. I will allow silence. I will allow not knowing. I will allow fear, and so on. <laughs>